Coconut oil is not MCT oil. And MCT oil is not coconut oil. They're two different things. There is a little bit of crossover, but it's very important that you understand the clear defined difference between the two so that you know how to get the most out of your body. Make sure you click on the little bell and click on the little notification buttons that you can see whenever I go live on these videos. It's very important so that you see everything I put out there. Okay, let's talk about what an MCT is, what a medium chain triglyceride is. You see, when we look at fats, we have three different kinds. We have short chain fatty acids, medium chain fatty acids, and of course we have long chain fatty acids or triglycerides, right? So here's what you need to know about medium chain triglycerides. They bypass the liver, generally speaking. We have three or four different really kinds that we wanna talk about, three and a half. The first one is known as C6, and it's called caproic acid. It's kind of the gem. It's very hard to find. It's very rare, especially in coconut oil. There's only a tiny, tiny bit of it in coconut oil. Then we have C8, which is known as caprylic. Now caprylic makes up about 6% of coconut oil and caprylic is the really powerful medium chain triglyceride, the one that really has some umph. And I'm gonna get down to the details, so just bear with me. Okay, then we have C10, which is capric. Okay, capric acid is another medium chain triglyceride that is still pretty darn rare, makes up about 10% of coconut oil. Then we have lauric acid. Lauric acid is kind of an imposter. You see, it's the most prevalent in coconut oil but it is actually, although an MCT, it's a pseudo MCT because it responds in the body as a long chain triglyceride, which means it still has to go to the liver for conversion. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, let me explain what's really happening. What is an MCT and what is MCT oil? So MCT oil is actually manufactured. Straight up MCT oil doesn't exist naturally. It has to go through a manufacturing process to remove the lauric acid. It removes that component, so it's leaving you with the capric, caprylic, and caproic acids, the most powerful MCTs. So you're removing the long chain acting fatty acid and leaving yourself with straight up medium chain triglycerides that can be used as a source of fuel right out the gate. Now these are cool because they react very fast in the body. They give you really quick energy because they bypass the liver. They can actually cross the blood brain barrier and they've proven to not only help with fat distribution and fat burning, but they've also been proven to help with cognitive function. I'm going to get to some research here in just a couple of minutes, but first I want to break down what coconut oil is and what the key differences are. You see, coconut oil is lauric acid dominant, meaning 50% of the actual fats that are in coconut oil are lauric acid. And if you remember, lauric acid technically, although it's an MCT, isn't really an MCT. So you only have a small portion. You have 6% of the MCTs coming from caprylic in coconut oil. Then you have 10% coming from capric. Then you have a small, small amount coming from caproic, basically leaving you with like 20% MCTs, the rest just being long chain fatty acids that really aren't that valuable when it comes to getting more fat burning. So why is coconut oil touted as this amazing thing? Well, because it is. It's still one of the only natural sources of MCTs that are out there. So you're really not gonna find it anywhere else. That's why MCT oil is manufactured from coconut oil. But the main benefit is the fact that lauric acid has huge, huge digestive and immune benefits. You see, once that lauric acid hits your digestive system, enzymes couple with it to create something called monolaurin, which has been shown in multiple studies to do a lot of crazy cool things for our immune system. In fact, it's been shown to actually kill off certain forms of staphylococcus, which I can get to in just a minute. But let's talk about the key differences between MCTs and coconut oil as far as fat loss is concerned. There was a 2015 meta-analysis of 13 different studies looking at long chain fatty acids versus medium chain triglycerides, okay? And what they looked at was the difference in body composition, waist to hip ratio, waist circumference, hip circumference, actual sub-Q fat, actual visceral fat, overall weight loss, and body fat reduction or changes. Well, what they found was those that consumed MCTs over long chain fatty acids, by and large across 13 randomized controlled studies, had significant changes for the better in their body composition. Pretty darn powerful. Now there's one other study I've got to throw at you in regards to the brain. All right, so they also found in a different study that by looking at those that took in MCTs, they had better cognitive function, particularly people that were suffering from neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Why does this matter? Well, in Parkinson's and Alzheimer's patients, it's usually found that neurons 
tend to die off, these particular neurons that are required for cognitive function. Well, MCTs are starting to prove that they may be able to tap into those neurons and reactivate them so that they can be used functionally again. That's pretty darn powerful. Then let's look at coconut oil, okay? Coconut oil has these huge benefits when it comes to the immune system. Although it doesn't help you so much with fat loss, it does indirectly because it works with the MCTs. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to practice this. When you want a fat burning or a cognitive effect, lean on straight MCTs. They're perfect to add to your coffee, they're perfect to add to a breakfast meal, but the thing is they're not that stable to cook with. So it's not like you can just pour your MCTs into the pan and start cooking up your eggs. It'll probably denature and they won't have their benefit. You can certainly add it to your coffee or straight up take a tablespoon of it. Coconut oil is stable and provides the digestive benefits and the immune benefits. Cook with that stuff and have that later in the day so that you're not using it as a source of fuel, but you're using it as a supplement to help you feel better. So MCTs, fat burning in the morning, coconut oil in the evening. But don't get me wrong, I'm always promoting coconut oil. MCTs aren't always easy to get your hands on. So coconut oil, bar none, the best oil to cook with. So don't get me wrong, it doesn't contradict hundreds of other videos that I've done touting the benefits of coconut oil. I just wanted to clear the air and let you know what the difference was, especially if you're going into ketosis and you're trying to learn this whole process. So make sure you comment and let me know. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit up my other social channels. I'm going super strong on Facebook, Instagram as well. Make sure you're checking me out everywhere. But more importantly, let us know what kind of videos we should be producing to help you get along with your health journey, your mental journey, and of course your career goals too. I'll see you in the next video.